Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so we're gonna do another vanilla run here, and I'll be playing as Maggie. I know, I could be playing as Isaac just to show off the D6 for the first time, but... Meh. I think it's Maggie's time to shine. Even though she's doing so at an incredibly slow rate. Alright, so here's our seed here. AP21. PWTJ. After parties were for 21 year olds. Pee Wee likes TJs. Um, I don't know. That, that did not make any sense. But then again, I'm playing a game that sometimes doesn't make sense, but is very loved. The Magnet. Oh, I'll take it because it's a passive. And it can't really work against me. Well, maybe in rare instances it might. But you'd be hard pressed to find those instances. I mean, getting consumables like over spikes and pits. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Now, I do want to get a bomb here for obvious reasons, and you can see that right to the very south of this little rock diamond, even though it has like a poop corner. All right, taking on Larry Jr. I don't mind Larry J. No, not from Oz FM. Which is a Newfoundland uh, radio station that sadly plays t today's music. And I'm saying today's music sucks. I mean, I just prefer other alternatives. Well, some of today's music is good. I'm just talking about the pop culture thing that I'm not really a fan of. But I digress. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just something I don't prefer. To say it's bad in effect, I mean, that's just highly entitled. Just saying that your opinion supersedes all. And and that's a load of crap. I mean, don't don't be the, that kind of person. It's gone to the point that people who hate Kim Kardashian are more annoying than Kim Kardashian. Oh, God. This could get real annoying real fast. Why did he turn around? He could have got me there. That was a... That was real estate right there. I was like real estate with a blonde wig and a magnet on my head, thinking I'm a Mega Man Robot Master. So we'll take the range up, even though it sucks. Go down to the next floor. Oh, Curse of Darkness. Well, not really a curse I hate. I do see that Toxic Poop over there that two of those flies just killed themselves in. That, that's nice of them to do. Well, they get a key, which is really good, so the item room is very palatable at this point. I find that when I was playing the original Binding of Isaac, that when I was playing as Maggie, that I usually get items that are pretty bad, even though she's already a bad character. Or even it was worse, even though she had the potential to be stronger, depending on how weak she was. You know, by way of the, um... What was it? Oh, Horror Babylon. But Maggie, she didn't really have anything going for her. I mean, yeah, Yamhart, but you end up replacing it with a spacebar item as soon as you could. So it wasn't really that great. We only just got our first penny, didn't we? That is so weird. That only now we're getting money. Stem cells showed up in the item room. I was not expecting that. Very rare that you see stem cells as a standard item. It's usually a boss item. But I'll live with it, I guess. Good to know you blew that up, but it didn't really do anything for me. Hey! Hey! Come here, die! Thank you. That's Dingle. Come over here and die! I'm pretty sure a veterinarian said that at one point. When a dog's trying to get away from being euthanized. Still a very horror thought, though. Yeah, I really need to clear out some of this poop. Oh, yeah, shooting at Dingle while it's dashing is often a bad idea. So now I got nothing protecting my red hearts. Stop whistling! You're creating way too many enemies for this fight. Not to, oh, well, that was my fault. It's like he predicted where I was going to go. That was so weird. It's like, how did he predict that? Oh, 
Okay. South area is completely clear of poop. That can mean so many different things. It's like, you had a really good bowel move in the south area is completely clear of poop. I was like, I hope so! Hope I didn't have any in the north area. Otherwise, I'd be literally eating shit. Of course, I didn't get a deal with the devil because I took red heart damage, but... Matchbook is okay. I really should have gone back, look around the floor. Knowing that I actually had bombs. Oh, Curse of the Lost? Really? You're gonna give me that? Oh, that sucks so bad. I guess that's what I get for rushing through the floor. I could have explored it, but no. Maybe I would have caused some random things to happen in the algorithm, which would have made sure Curse of the Lost would not be triggered. Good going there, Beavis. Thank you for that key. Oh, yeah, I knew I was going to take damage there. It was pretty much self-ordained by the gods that I would get hurt in that one room. Okay, that's probably our shop. I don't want to go there. Don't go there! <laughs> that was some weird movements that Maggie was making with her arms. Okay, not really a fan of these spiders because of how far they can leap at ya. Oh, bonies are worse, so I'll take a thousand psychic spiders over one bony any day of the week. Well, not that'd be a big hyperbole. Two bonies any day of the week. I mean, one bony, you can just walk around and there you go. But two! That is the ultimate middle finger. Excellence could be a middle finger as well. Because that creep just lingers a long time. Not to mention these silkworms take forever to kill with Maggie's base stats. You pretty much have to hope Pestilence hits them. Oh my god. We could be here a hundred million years at this point. And that is not a hyperbole. If I had ra No, Rage would not matter so much unless I was taking damage. That's right. It's much different in Rebirth than it is now. I'm gonna be over my 20 minute quota just on this fight. It's so bad. Oh my god, now I'm cornered. Okay, now I'm not cornered. It's like Pestilence just aims so much more accurately. Yeah, use the Yum Heart. I mean, my god, I don't want to die here. This would be like the shortest Isaac run I've had in this Let's Play if I die like eight minutes in. Oh. Eh. Pestilence is self aware. That's what worries me. Come on, die already! At this rate, I'm never gonna get a deal with the devil unless I get like 17 soul hearts. Not all at once. Don't get nervous. I know you can't carry all of them. But I'll probably end up losing some on the way. Okay, so I don't get the cube of meat, but instead I get a ball of bandages. I really gotta look around for some other rooms. I don't think boss rush is gonna be happening, though. Maybe if I get, like, one speed up, that will make the difference. Because I hate Curse of the Lost when you just can't see where you're going. I don't think I've been this way. Well, at least the uh, ball of bandages will give me some protection. Well, I gotta manage this room a little bit better. Like, get this guy killed so you don't create more spiders. Or that could take a hundred million years. Thank you for that bomb that I should be picking up by now. I think I should take care of this uh, demon diglet here. Thank you. Now we can just move on to this enemy, which sadly I'm in a dead end. Allow me to get my yum heart charged though, so it's kind of useful. Oh no no no! Oh, thank God, I was self-aware to turn back in the last moment. Not too late when it happened. Okay, now to test my theory, would I rather like this many psychic spiders over the bonies? And that answer is still yes. Because look what happened. 
I wrecked their shit. Now, Greenheads and Bonies would probably be tied for the worst enemies you could be fighting in the catacombs. Having to fight them together, like, imagine that. Like, imagine, like, a type of enemy that can spawn Bonies. Oh, I would hate that so much. Because they are the ultimate worst, in my opinion. Alright, Capricorn, that could really save me. I'm moving around a little bit better. Okay, Guppy's head. That's good. I think I'll take that over Yumheart. Just put it back, thank you. There, that's, that's much better. And it's a Guppy item, so it'll, it'll probably save my life in many ways. Okay, that was the Diglett I was aiming after. Okay, so far so good. Making a little bit more money. I got a little bit more bombs. Keys are still very short. And I'm 10 minutes in already, so... Boss Rush is probably not going to happen unless I really pussyfoot it in a big way. Like, I really got to haul ass to make this happen. And I mean, the, pot, the, the room is all the way over there. So I got a long way to go. I'm not checking for secret rooms when I know I got this to do. I don't know why I went that way. I was to the shop. This is a dead end, isn't it? No, no, no. Not necessarily. Yeah, I remember this leads to the boss. There we go. Okay, down to the next floor. I better not have Curse of the Lost again. Okay, I don't have any curse. How to deal with catacombs again can feel like its own curse. Give me another key. I want to see what's in that room. Oh, thank you. You just read my mind. Goat hoof. I mean, goat head. Okay, so that guarantees me deals with the devil from here on out. And I got lots of red hearts. They are quite expendable at this point. That's a dead end, really? Why you gotta do this to me, game? I don't want to be here longer than I need need to. Ugh. Sure, Guppy's head is charged. That's also a dead end! I found two dead ends, like, in the very beginning. How does that even happen? What is up with that room layout? Well, better get them out of the way early rather than later. Okay, keep giving me keys. That's, that's something that makes me happy. Oh, yeah, of course, that's the one that would open first. These turds over there that continuously shoot can also hurt the enemies, I believe. Can they? Because I know when I was in Shoal, dealing with the uh, laser turret, it did hurt the enemies. I almost forgot that those things explode in multiple shots. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this room. A little bit better when more of these are dead. Fall advantages could... Uh, oh, yeah. I knew that was going to happen. This. Oh, full health. Kind of redundant, but I'm glad it's there in the rotation. And luck foot. Okay, so that makes my luck a little bit better. Obviously, it's, oh, it's a lucky foot. And I still find greed anyway. Which, of course, is not really affected by your luck, of course, but still. I just find it very ironic that I'm increasing my luck and finding greed in the shop. It's just really more of like a purist statement rather than, you know, like from the game engine. Oh my god, I took way too many shots. I have no soul hearts anymore. I got the steam sail. That'll help out. As long as I don't find greed in three straight shops. I don't think that can ever happen. But imagine if it did. Like, like every shop from here on out has greed or super greed. I'd be like, game? Why oh, you do me dirty like that? Could this secret room be here? It can be, good. In fact, it is there. I don't know why I pressed the item for like using a tarot card or a pill. My finger just slipped. But I'm glad I didn't have anything there in that slot. That's the hollow. Oh, just one big ass hollow! 
Look at it! That is so huge! That's the big ass worm I ever seen, that's what she said. Oh, that's that's gonna create a lot of explosions. Once all those body parts go away. Oh yeah, well I'm getting a deal with the devil anyway. Oh, magic mushroom, another all stats up item. I think I'd rather book of a Lyle in the grand scheme of things. Doesn't a chance to like do more damage? Sign me up. Oh my god, I'm big as hell! That's what I said to her. Look at me! I'm always gonna take up most of the screen if I get another magic mushroom. Okay, this room is not Book of Belial worthy. I think a lot of rooms are gonna be less Book of Belial worthy, as long as I keep getting all stat subs. Maybe I'll get the Halo next, who knows. Could happen. Could also not happen. You... You might be wrong, or you might think I'm wrong, but I think that room is Book of Belial worthy. I mean, I don't want to get into too good to use syndrome where I'm just holding on to spacebar items forever, never using them, and I take more damage as a result. There's our shop over there, I believe. Or it could be a library. Whoa, 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 that was so close. This room was more Book of Belial worthy, but too late for that now. I made my bed, so it's time for me to lie in it. Which, ironically, that's how I'm recording this video. Well, I'm not in my bed, I'm on my bed. It's a little bit too early to get in the bed yet. Even though I do get quite tired easily after a long day at work. I guess I can, like, give the boomerang a shot. At least it will never leave me. Alright, son, do some donating. He's a charge on his own. Hang on a sec. Never mind, that was just a false alarm, so let's continue. I should buy that key first, though. I think this is the last chance the shop is going to be worthwhile, so let's donate the rest of this money. And it stopped. Yeah, let's go with Boomerang for a good while. Might be the best decision, might be the worst decision. Oh, it bounces back after you hit, like, only one enemy? That's lame. And it doesn't hit them on the way back. It sucks. Oh, but it freezes them. Oh, but it only freezes them for like a short while. No way, the item is kind of bad. I think I'd rather book a Belial. Even though it doesn't charge on its own, it does, you know, keep me alive a little bit longer. And I will buy that red heart. Yeah, I'm not going to get the boss rush. Unless I go really fast. I didn't even find the item room yet. So you know what? Let's purge out all hope I'm going to get the boss rushes, Maggie. Would have liked to, but I'd rather focus on surviving. I mean, i got other things to do as Maggie rather than, you know, just the boss rush. There will be other runs, but it's not this run. Let's purge it out of our memory right now. I don't want to use Book of Belial too much. Remember, the boss is revealed. I shouldn't have that many rooms left. There we go. Let's find that item room. It might make a world of difference. Hopefully. I'm not going to find it at this rate, though. Especially when you find dead ends. Oh. Yes. Making this room work. One dead vis at a time. There. I'm getting very bad at finding the right paths, so to speak. Like, I find a lot of dead ends. This could have been book a while worthy, but first, let me use a bomb. I did see that tinted rock over there. I didn't really have a choice in the matter about the soul hearts, because they would come to me anyway. These things are so tanky for ghosts. And I've gone over that already. 
Is it because they're fat? Whoa, 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 whoa. almost walked right into that one like a moron. Oh, there's our item room. There's also our curse room. And the key came to me anyway. I'm gonna get another one. What's this? Iron bar. Okay. Now my tears can daze the enemy. That could be a good thing. This could be a good haul, and... Oh, well, I guess that soul heart's being left behind. Kinda wish I grabbed it first before I opened that other chest. Oh, I end up back in the curse room anyway, so... It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, unless I can clear two floors in like 45 seconds, I'm not going to the boss rush. Well, it might be possible if you had the shovel and the Bible and stuff. I don't have the shovel and the Bible. That would require me holding two spacebar items. It's impossible. I don't think there's any item in Isaac or re in this game that would allow you to have two spacebar items at once. Alright, the gate can fuck right off. I don't like this guy at all. I can't believe I avoided damage here. But I did. It's that curved brimstone laser that I look forward to the least. Thankfully, we didn't have to see it. Oh, God. These things are so annoying. The HP upgrade is not annoying. Oh, yeah, I didn't leave anything behind in there. Okay, let's go. I was just double checking. Okay, Curse of the Unknown. Now I can't see my health. Great. It's a good thing I got a lot of it. Otherwise, I'd be very concerned. But then I might start getting a bit too confident. I mean, remember, Dark Boy is completely out of the question. Though I'm very disappointed in that. Remember, that's one I would like to get out of the way for personal reasons. And anybody that's watched all 60 episodes of my Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Let's Play, or even like a, a portion of them, would know that Dark Boy has been that one achievement that eluded me for so long that I had to get it off camera. I kind of wish I did it on camera. Oh, can't believe I walked into that. But that just could not happen. Good bomb right there, even though, well, with the bomb fly. And this item room has mom's wig? Okay, now I kind of look like Napoleon Dynamite. If he didn't have glasses. And just looked a bit brown. And naked. Oh, and, and he's a baby as well, apparently. Those two still hearts. I mean, I guess you can say things are getting serious. <laughs> I've watched Napoleon Dynamite, and it's got to be one of those movies that if you watched it for the first time, probably when you were a teenager, you were thinking it was awesome. And then you look back and realize that, what the fuck did I watch? This is worse than a smut film. It, it's just one of those things where the humor is drier than your mom's ass. Not that I would know, but, but still. It's just one of these things you had to really get to understand really would like to get another two cents. I might find it right here. Well, at least the good thing about Mom's wig is that you can spawn those blue spiders to help you. Oh, nickel right there. That's great. Now I can buy the blue map. And I'll buy this. Oh, I can't buy the soul heart. I'll buy the bomb then. That's good enough for me. As you can tell, I'm easy to please most of the time. Whoa, that was so close. Just die already, thank you. Oh, thank you for the free bomb. That makes this top secret room more palatable. Oh, good, an eternal heart. I have no problems using that. Oh, almost walked into that enemy by accident. Oh my god, there's just so much shit going on. Okay, good, 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 good. We're gonna be okay. This is gonna be a one run, in my opinion. You think so? Because I think so. Where's our boss at? 
Oh, it's just right over here. Eight gurglings. I don't want to use Book of Belial here. Did I even go to the regular secret room? I don't even know if I did. Oh god, these enemies are rare. They're pretty much a shine like the shiny version of Gish's. I still remember that my uh, first shiny Pokemon was a, a Woobat. I never even used it, though. I know that one of my uh, friends, who's a director in Sandbox Gaming, uh, Sarah, I think is her name. Well, one of the Sarahs, by the way. And she found a Dodo for the first time as a shiny. Oh, hang on. Okay, I'm back again. I'm I'm really bad at these false alarms, thinking, oh, I'm gonna, not going to be able to continue the recording until maybe the next day. Or whenever. That hollow was actually trapped. Because, I mean, Lola just barks at the door for no reason. I was thinking company was coming in. Apparently that wasn't the case this time. That was just her being a bitch. Well, she is! She's a female dog. So, I am allowed to call her a bitch as much as I want, and... That pill was actually pretty good. 48 hour energy. I suppose I can use it right now so it doesn't feel like a waste. Oh god, this is the bomb fly that shoots ya. I was kind of hoping that I would have lined it up in such a way that I can just destroy the skulls. And I'm not talking about that movie. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I never saw the movie The Skulls, but it just didn't seem like anything I'd care about. I didn't find the shop, did I? Oh, wait a minute. I think I did at some point. Yeah, I'm just... At oh, well, at least I got the evil heart out of it. That's all that matters. So, I guess we can just go on and uh, fight Mom. Should be an easy time, though. Even though I can't see my health, I won't be able to see hers anytime soon, either. Once I'm through with her. Oh, Tinnit Rock over there. I see that. See if you can destroy it for me, Mama. That would be much appreciated. Okay, fine. Don't do it. I'll do it myself. So hard to ask for good help these days. I'm gonna do it myself. Oh, God. There's a bomb and a soul heart there. But I lost my evil heart as a result. It's a dumb damage. Oh, well. Could have been worse. Could have died. I mean, that could have been, like, just me having no health at all. Oh, I just saw her grunting there. I was thinking she was coming. I thought my mom was coming, and I don't mean in that kind of context. That sounds very gross. And probably psychologically harming. That being said, however, I'm just going to kick some ass here. Hopefully I don't take any more hits. There we go, and I get that evil heart back. The negative. And I can get nine lives. That would be a bad idea. Book of Sin would also be a bad idea. So I'm not going to take it. I mean, yeah, nine lives can get me closer to Guppy, but I don't think it's going to be worth it in the grand scheme of things. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had an eternal heart. I guess that's what happens when you, like, uh, do your Isaac recordings in certain intervals. Like, you forget what you just did, like... Probably a couple hours ago. You know, like a couple hours for like since I did the last uh, session of it. This angel fetus can go to hell, as far as I'm concerned. Even though it's an angel. And Book of Belial is useful here. Why can't these blue spiders just come in a little bit closer? You guys are getting way too close to my liking. You're almost trapping me. And hopefully the secret room has something good. Well, it's got two keys. Can't go wrong with that. What's in our mob trap room? Tempting! Usually when you see a gold chest... Ah, might as well do it. Tammy's head! This could be so much better. Eh, it's a hit or miss. I mean, Tammy's head is good if you got different kinds of tear effects on the go. But if you don't, and it's kind of neutral, then maybe you're just better off with Book of Belial. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with Book of Belial. For the principle that I'll have it for the remainder of the battle, rather than just one use. Tammy said it's not terrible, either. 
I just want to make sure that I got the best kind of foot forward. If I gotta deal with a devil that gets me, like, say, Brimstone, or anything that changes my tears drastically, I'll take Tammy's head instead. So I'm just gonna weigh my options. I mean, like I said, Tammy's head by itself is does really good damage, but unless you have a way of recharging it as much as you want, like say through a nun's habit, I don't think it'd be in my best interest to keep. Huh, if only this uh, blue map can just reveal where the boss is, then it would be a terribly broken item. And that was bad damage on my part, but I recovered that health back immediately. Thank you, Blue Spires, for destroying gurglings for me. And top secret room has another eternal heart. I'll take that right away. Because I got enough soul hearts to soak up the damage. Watch now, I take like four hits. Well, more than four hits. And lose that eternal heart. And I'll be eating crow. Is it true that if you eat crow, it's really somebody's soul? Or is that just like a wives tale? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a wives' tale, even though if you watch that 70s show, you would think it was real. It really scared the shit out of Fez when he ate that crow, thinking it was a pheasant. Like, beautiful black pheasants. I'm surprised that he was so willing to hunt for an animal that actually sounds like the first part of his name. Whoa. Okay. Mitigated that situation real quick. Ah, Dark Bomb. This could be really useful. And that wasn't really useful at all. Not gonna take the shovel. Not gonna take missing page number two. You can take that from me. I should have gone back for that other red heart. So far, your quota is quite good. And I got nine red hearts, so I have nothing to worry about. I got missing page, so occasionally if I take damage, and it'll just be a Necronomicon effect, I believe, unless they change that, too. I don't really think it's that good of a trinket, but I didn't even have a trinket at all before then. So it'd be kind of foolish not to take it at all. I mean, there are very few trinkets that you're better off taking nothing than taking that trinket. Like, the take would probably be one of them. Like, that would be a terrible trinket to have, because, you know, you won't be able to take any other trinkets again. Unless you got, like, god damn, I took way too much damage because it's one boss alone. Unless you had, like, Mom's Purse, and you could be taking two trinkets. Purse Skull is another pretty bad trinket as well, because it can really work against you, especially if you're a blue baby. There are probably some other trinkets that are bad. Like, maybe Isaac's Fork is not that memorable to have. Not terrible, but not great either. Probably not even good in the grand scheme of things. I don't even know why there's a bomb there unless to see what was in that corpse. Maybe this guy died because he was eating spiders. And yet the spiders still live. So maybe it was spider eggs. Couldn't have just been live spiders and they've been living this whole time. Like, what is the average shelf life of a spider anyway? I'm pretty sure some people actually know this, so I'm probably going to feel like an idiot for not knowing it myself. Thank you, Dark Bomb. I don't know why these blue spiders are trying, <laughs> but I admire their effort. Really need to destroy these. Oh my god! I saw that shot coming a mile away and I still took damage. I feel like such a failure. Well, not really. But I'm still dumb. I keep thinking this giant enemy is a boss of some sort. But you never see him anywhere. Except here. Okay, uh, double Mega Ma. Not really a fan of that. And if I wasn't so close to the boss room, then I would just be using Book of Belial right now. But, this kind of layout is not too bad for dealing with this boss. Or bosses. Remember, there's two of them. And just a little more. Damn, spin him out, I don't care. 
That just means, like, uh, less ways of you to attack me. Oh, might as well check the top secret room before we go take on It Lives, or well, I'll just call him Mom's Heart, because really, that's what it is. Dark Bum, you can benefit so much from this. Oh! Okay, well, maybe if we just have you leave. Oh my god, that is so glorious. That was a total exploit if there ever was one. Oh, the heart got away. I was hoping to use all those bombs. Ah, oh, that was some bad damage. Yeah, it was better to take Book of Allah with me over Tammy's head. Now that I think about it very clearly. I don't know how I dodged those hits there. Must be the grace of the Lord. <laughs> the gaming Lord. Oh, there we go. Find that seam and... Found the opposite of a seam. Found lots of spiders. All this teratoma. Ugh, that was close. What was that? I didn't see it just cause like a random spasm like that. Okay, these cysts are being the problem. Okay, we did it. We can go to the cathedral or we can go to Shoal. I think we should at least go to Shoal. Because, I mean, why not? We still need to get some Satan victories anyway. And we also need to get some Isaac victories to complete the Polaroid. But, you know, first things first. Also, I do have the negative. So, we might be able to see Dark Room for the first time. I think this will be an interesting run. I, I can't guarantee it's going to be a winning run, but it might have the potential to do just that. Uh, maybe Pinky Eye is better. Let's go with that. Okay, hopefully this is the way to Satan. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, you can just hide in the rocks. He'll be safe. Let the laser... Oh my god, that was a skilled snipe if there ever was one. Just went right into the scene behind that rock. Got me. Pinky Eye works like Comet Cold. He might occasionally do poison damage. I think we should just use the Emperor right now. Yeah, lay the bomb now. That was well-timed. Good. I think it was ready to, uh, like, fire the brimstone and then a poison at the last second caused it to lower its health. Okay. I think we're gonna be alright. If we can get some red hearts, that'd be great. Not just for my health, but for Dark Bomb. Oh, God! I forgot about that kind of attack. I'm trying to think about it, I can't really take that many hits. And I don't really have much to protect me. Oh, come on. There, we made it to the feet. Did I poison him? No, I didn't. Okay, just pay attention to the bomb leech. Good thing he stomped on it. Okay, this is an interesting run. I I still have a lot of question marks about it, though. Like, I can't guarantee that it's going to be a winning run. And as long as I play good, it's going to be, like, one of those winning runs. But it's time to rely on my skills more than ever. Well, pretty much all Isaac runs rely on your skill. Just some rely on it a lot more heavier than others. If you had an overpowered run, you can probably get away with playing like a piece of shit. And still win, depending on how the synergies go. Right now, this is a neutral kind of synergy. It's not a terrible one. Okay, Guardian Angel is unlocked. That's right, I still even have that item yet. Well, I do now. Okay. I've never even went to the dark room in my casual file either. But I really like this music. Okay, there's a couple pills here. 
Pheromones, meh. Lemon Party, also meh. Guppy's Tail I might as well take right now, and I realize I could have been Guppy. Oh, I can be Guppy! Oh, I unlocked Krampus. How many deals with the devil did I have to take for that to happen? Because I thought I always had Krampus available. I was just having really low luck in finding him. Now, I could be wrong, but I feel like the Dark Room's music is like a remixed version of classic Isaac's Shoal music. It has that kind of vibe, really. So, Dark Room is kind of like the devil version of the chest. Where you only get, like, those red chests at the start. At least the chest allowed you to get, like, actual items. Albeit they could be good or bad, but you could get items. Oh, being guppy is going to make this run a lot more broken. Well, it's actually going to make it broken. It wasn't broken before, but it is now. Black bean? Ugh. Whatever. Okay, create a little wormhole and get those two bombs. Okay, which way is it to the boss? Okay, double carrying queens. They're both champions. They don't shoot poop, though. Is it the ones that shoot, like, those mini hearts? Because I don't even see those either. Let's speed things up and just use Book of Belial. Oh, this is triple carrying queen. Yeah, she doesn't really shoot anything out of her butt. Barely noticeable. You see, like, little trails of blood. It's not even creep. I had more bombs, I would really be using some here. Just to speed up this fight. Cause I'll admit, I'm excited. I'm excited to take on the lamb for the first time. I heard it's a pretty tough boss. Like a lot of attack patterns that can really throw you off. Luckily we haven't run into Dark One or Adversary in the Dark Room yet. You know, why am I not using this pill? I should just be luring them. Oh god, that was close. Over here, like right on this. Do continuous damage. There. Lemon party actually helped. I think I was saving it for the lamb, but I don't know if it would have worked. Because maybe the lamb can float, if I remember correctly. And I don't. So, lemon party would have been useless. Okay, that's two dead. Well, undead, because technically Carrying Queen's already dead. Oh yeah, it is a little hearts. And if you kill the hearts, you do a little bit of damage to it. I don't know, I guess the reason I haven't seen the hearts because I was already killing them as soon as they spawned. That might have been it. Or because Carrying Queen might have been poisoned, that it damages the hearts instantly too? I don't know. Oh, there's still a heart there. Tiny planet. Oh no. I think I regret doing that. I think that was a terrible item to pick up at this juncture. That means I have to aim my tears carefully. Oh god. They're loose. Oh, now they're dead. That was not the way to the boss. Just a couple of dark ones. I guess just regular dark one isn't bad. It's when you run into adversary that it gets real dicey. There. Now they're both deceased. Oh, Monstro's Lung! Oh! Man, their range looks very limited. I'd have to get really close. This could also be bad. But there's our boss. Doesn't even do a lot of damage either. Okay, it was enough to kill them. Maybe the reason I'm seeing the health decrease so low is because there's so many of them. I mean, this is the pooled health bar of all the chubs. Oh, my range is real shit for this. 
Oh, I didn't even see that silkworm. It's just like a ninja. I better get Book of Belial charged before I go in there. Oh god. Champion Mask of Infamy? Okay, well, this is not impossible. In fact, not even close. Annoying, but not impossible. Spiders are doing most of the work. There we go. Well, okay, now you're just making fun of me, game. Yeah, let's take the poop in to fight the lamb. That'll win the game for me. <laughs> Said no one ever. Alright, now this could get interesting. Oh god. Exploding shots can be annoying. Just gotta watch the shadows. Oh god. Watch it. Watch it. I don't think they home, even though they're purple. Oh god, disembodied. So it's really two targets you gotta deal with. Both the head and the body. So we gotta kill both of them in order to win. Uh, Black Beam might be useful if I get too close and take damage. Whoa. Oh god. I was not in a good spot to dodge that. At all. Okay, four more hits and I'm dead. Oh god, I forgot about that attack. I think the head's dead. Now it's just the body. Okay, we got this. Oh, this is too tense. It's not allowing me to get close. It's dead. I think we won. We did it. Maggie's faith and angels have been unlocked. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that's mom. Man, he's got, she's got wide hips. So we got Maggie's Faith and the Angels Await. I think that just unlocks, like, a new meta on how we're going to handle this. This could be interesting. So, in the next episode, I might as well just do another challenge run. I think we're going to go with Suicide King next. I've heard a lot of crazy things about it. Should be fun. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.